Hi friends, my name is Raj and you are watching TechWhite. So in this video, I will show you how to fix this error. We could not complete the updates. So let's start with our first step. Go to the search bar and type services.msc. Then click on services to open windows services. Now search for a service windows update. And you can see the service windows update right click on it then click on properties now stop this service after that on the startup type change it to disabled then click on apply then click on ok now minimize this window do not close this just minimize it now open your c drive go to this pc now open your C drive, then go to windows folder. Now search for a folder named software distribution. So this is the folder software distribution. Open this folder. Now press Ctrl A to select all the files and folder and delete all the files and folder. After deleting all the folder, cut this window. Now open Windows Services. Then right click on Windows Update again. Go to Properties. Now on the Startup type, change it to Automatic. Then click on Apply. Then start this service. Simply click on Start. Now click on OK. Now close this window. Now move on to a next step. In this step, we will open our system in safe mode and after that we will uninstall the latest installed update. So go to the search box again and type msconfig then click on system configuration. Now go to boot tab. Now click on save boot. Tick this option then click on apply then click on ok then click on restart now your system will restart and open in safe mode now our system is in safe mode now press window and r key to open the run command ok now type app viz dot cpl then click on OK. Now on the left side, go to View Install Updates. So these are the updates I have in my system. First, arrange all the updates by date wise. Simply click on Installed On and it will arrange your updates by date wise. Okay. Now uninstall the latest update you have. So this is the update, the latest update I have. Okay. One important thing, only uninstall the update which start with update for Microsoft. Do not uninstall any security updates or services stack. Now right click on the latest update you have and then click on uninstall. Yes to uninstall. One important thing that you have to uninstall only one latest update you have in your system. Okay. Now after that cut this window. Now again press window and R key together to open the run command. Now type msconfig then press enter. Now again go to boot tab. Now untick this option and click on apply then click on ok then click on restart. Now your system will restart in normal mode. So these are the troubleshooting steps you can apply to fix this issue. Thank you. Thanks for watching TechWhite. Have a nice day.